Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Twilight. So. Our goal now is to figure out what to do next. There's only one thing in memory that I know I can do. Take that, thank you very much. So we'll go from there and see what happens. I know with a shield, I can push you and get whatever is in that chest. I got a mushroom! And you know who likes mushrooms? I do believe Marissa's house was just up here around the corner. Ah, foul fairy, fairy demon. Come here, come here, buddy. I'll mug you. Hey, Marissa. Yay. I now have powder. This is the pause screen, by the way. When you open it up, you can select various things and put them on different buttons. All you have to do is highlight it and hit the button you want it to be on. So I hit B and it puts that on B. Okay, it didn't actually show the icon for it, but you can get a refill on your magic powder if you so choose. I'm gonna keep this on so I don't run out. Hit the button by accident and the like. Now the fairy powder. Fairy powder, I don't know. Mushroom powder, magic powder, whatever. Magic powder! Let's call it magic powder. The magic powder can be sprinkled on enemies and it will do damage. You see like a little flame thing come up and they go, it hurts, why? So that's pretty alright. It can also be used to uncover secrets. And by secrets I mean discover something's true form. You know what, I'm gonna break these things, because... Man, I just want money, why is that so hard? You're just gonna kinda chill over there, and there's not much I can do about it. But there's something we saw earlier that seemed a little out of place. That's these blue guys, because it's out of place, because they're not giving me their money! Because I want that bow! And what was out of place is Reimu standing right here. Sup, Reimu? What are you doing here? Do you want to sprinkle magic powder on her? Yes. Oh! It's the extra boss from the most recent Toho game, whose name I also forget. She's a Tanuki, though. She's got So she's got a big old tail, and she can change her shape, and likes playing tricks on people or something. I don't know. I haven't actually looked into them as much. I so I've sort of looked into them, and then I promptly forgot. But we got a bunny-looking key, and of course, what am I going to do with a bunny-looking key but go into the bunny place? Level 2. Don't know where I'm going, so we're going to go find out. Oh, uh, what's this place called? I used to know. Back when I knew things. Ooh, that is a bomb. You can use bombs to damage enemies and the like, and you can also use it to blow open passages. Oh, 
fine, up here. Yay, money! I'm not gonna go back that way just yet because I get the feeling I'm gonna have to come back this way anyway. Okay, this song is... I know this song has something to do with the people in the bunny place. I'm not sure if this is Towie's theme or... I want to say it's Towie's theme. I'm going to call her Towie because there's a bloody W in it. I don't care if it's supposed to be silent. You want it to be silent, you don't put a W in it. I'm looking at you, localizers. It's your fault. Yeah, that was one of the various keys that I had. I cannot get over to either of those. I can't do anything. So I'm just going to keep going this way. And hey, what is this arrow pointing to, you may ask? But a wall! It's actually a little bit funny because doors have uh, render priority over everything else in this game. So when you set the bomb down, it's actually hidden behind a, an explodable door. I wonder if I could, like... I'm gonna have to check next time if I can, like, just hold my sword out. Hold my broom out. And if it will actually be hidden by an invisible door. Will it be hidden by you? Yeah, it'll be hidden by you. Oh, hey, Towie. Towie's doing a whole lot of hopping. It's easy enough to get out of her way, at least. Hitting her is a different matter. Broom in the face! Oh boy, what do we get? Yeah! I will say, I like how there's a boss and a mini-boss in all of these dungeons, and the mini-boss... The item you get in the dungeon is generally what the mini-boss used. So, like, Tabby was doing a whole lot of hopping. Whee! So we totally just got us a Rock's Feather. By rock's feather, I mean I don't know what the crap that is. It's a jumpy, it's a jumpy sash. Money. Okay, so I know my broom is hidden behind real doors. I wonder if it's hidden behind like explodable doors. I'm gonna have to check that. Boop. There's the dungeon map. That is a new mechanic just introduced there. Which is the switch that lets us open and close various things. Very handy, I'm sure. Why you gotta be stingy? I just want your money. You can get refills on the magic powder from enemies. There is no magic gauge, so to say. So it's just one of many things that can drop. Hey, key. One of many things that can drop from uh, defeated foes. I actually think what enemies will drop is maybe dependent on the enemy. Like, I think these bunnies will just always drop magic powder. Okay, now we never did go to a right. Not that we really could have, since we didn't have a key. I mean, eventually we got a key, so I guess there is that. Now, I know there are a couple secret rooms in this uh, game. Rooms that aren't on map, but I don't know where any of them are. 
so I may just have to... So I may just have to, um, not show them off. You know, I could do a whole lot of work here, or I could just do that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's no secret passage there. Sure, why not? Let's go this way. Well, I can't go that way, which means I have to hit that switch. But first, I want to go up here, because there's a thing up here. And things are always nice. Oski. Hey, we got just about everything we need out of this dungeon now. I like how the little blocks are in the lower left corner. So if you really wanted to, you could hop your way over there. But since you have to push the block in the middle anyway, it's kind of pointless for it to be there. But it does let there be, blo like, changeable blocks on screen. So you know that switch is doing something and did do something when you hit it. Like, it changes color, but to see the blocks actually move, you know, like, okay, yeah, this crap happened. And that's pretty alright. Good level design, yo. I don't know if I need to hit that switch or not. I'm gonna not and we'll see what happens. Guess I didn't need to. Go me! Or actually I could have gotten over had I done it. This way is just easier. That was the boss door, so who's our boss? Aiden! Okay, now here, I first thing you do is see these things and go like, hmm, am I supposed to hit these back? No, that hit me anyway, because the collision detection is a little weird. Well, in the dungeon, I, or not say in the dungeon, I was previously given magic powder. And in case you're having trouble realizing they give you magic powder, bunnies drop from the ceiling and they all drop magic powder. So magic the crap out of her! Yeah. Give me that magic. And that heart! Go me! And we get our second instrument. I think that's an instrument. I guess that's an instrument. Horn of some kind? Sure! Whatever you say. Hey, Aya. What's up? Couldn't have said it better myself. Until next time, everyone, now that we've completed the second dungeon and we can sprinkle magic powder on the ground because I didn't have this equipped, jump in the air majestically. We're gonna go to places. Until next time, everyone.